manhunt brought traffic on Interstate 75 to a standstill for hours today in Lexington. Police were searching for a man with a gun who had run into the woods. This happened at the interchange of North Broadway. LEX 18's Ricky Sayer was at the scene as officers worked to locate the suspect. He tells us how the search started and ended in tonight's big story at 11. It may have been hard to understand from a safe distance away, but the message police were sending was clear. Surrender. It's just crazy. With long guns trained, police negotiated with a man they said had seven to ten outstanding warrants against him. When they tried approaching him near this hotel, he took off running with a gun, right toward Cornelius Barnard and Jennifer Pence. That's what we saw the cops with their guns drawn, telling us to get down and hide behind the tire. They had pulled over on the I-75 off-ramp to change a tire during their drive back to Chicago. The trip now on pause, leaving their car behind so they could get to safety. It was and, uh, yeah, surreal. I, I like didn't think it was really happening. <laughs> I'm still just kind of, yeah, it was bizarre, knowing that he was like three feet from us and... They saw the suspect head into the woods between the off-ramp and the interstate. Soon, the North Broadway underpass was shut down as police flooded the scene. Armored vehicles arrived as police took cover. So we walk down here and we see all the police. This is crazy. Miriam Bird walked here to watch after seeing a police helicopter over her backyard. The manhunt lasted for more than four hours. At one point, northbound traffic on 75 was brought to a standstill. This comes after nine people were shot across four shootings last night in Lexington. It definitely hits hard seeing all the police and the gun violence. Hitting especially hard because she says last year her late brother was a victim of gun violence because I know what it feels like to lose somebody and I wouldn't want someone else to go through that. Today saw an ending though without violence. Police saying the man surrendered without incident, meaning Cornelius and Jennifer could get back on their way. In Lexington, Ricky Sayer, LEX 18 News.